The following words that I will read are from our preamble, and I quote, We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of the liberty to ourselves, to our prosperity, to ordain and establish the Constitution of the United States, end of quote. While these words, which are the beginning of our Constitution of the United States, are familiar to millions, few give real thought to their very meeting. After all, they offer no guarantees of freedom. Now I will begin by reading our Declaration of Independence, and I quote, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, derive their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is their right of the people to alter or to abolish said government. It is and to institute a new government, laying its foundations on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall most likely affect their safety and happiness." End of quote. You see, the sacrifice of our fallen, our families, our friends, and our community, we the people, help the people of Afghanistan have options to create a government of their very own that provides for their safety and happiness as well. In other words, we have given them an option. In order for our nation to continue to be the ray of hope for the world and our own people, we the people must continue to sacrifice. The goal of our families represented here today, as well as the paratroopers in our community, i.e., we the people, have saved lives in Afghanistan, provided a foreign nation options, and protected our families so the future generations of Americans could be free. Sadly, though, in our pursuit of freedom, we suffered fallen comrades. There are eight paratroopers and six soldiers under Task Force Spartan whom paid for our earthly freedoms. Three soldiers are not, photographs are not here today. To our fallen and to our families, I will say this. I will honor you and the fallen by living my life to the fullest. I will ensure that our children remain free. And lastly, I will remember our fallen as they lived for what they stood for, something greater than themselves. To our families and friends of our fallen, you are not alone. We are always here to talk and more importantly, just listen. Today, there may be tears and I will tell you and continue to tell you often let the tears flow, for there's more room on the outside than there is on the inside. I will share a quote with you that I love so much about tears. It is from Mr. Irving, Washington Irving, who once said, and I quote, there is, an, there is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief, but most importantly, of unspeakable love. In closing, God bless each one of you, every family, all our leaders, and may God continue to bless the USA. Thank you.